I was playing a league game here in Korea the other day in Master Tier, and this Lee Sin absolutely styled on me and took over the game. I thought he was scripting with how many Qs he hit. So I looked up his account a couple days later, and the guy's already challenger. And then somebody told me, it's KZH, the number one Lee Sin in the world, Chinese player. He's been over 1,800 LP on the Chinese server, and he steamrolled challenger in Korea in only seven days. Today, jumping onto the rift, breaking down one of his Lee Sin games and talking about why I think he's so... Uh, proficient on this champion and able to make it work and steamroll through every single rank he touches. So without further ado, let's jump on the rift, break it down. Jumping onto the rift, looking at how he starts his path with the red. Q start, interesting. Gets the leash. I see he's probably one of the most proactive junglers I've ever seen. It's just hit level 3, permanently gank, set up objectives, dive, dive, dive. The guy's aggressive. When you play with a good jungler and it just feels like they're always in the right place at the right time, this is what KZH is like. And it's funny to see even pro level junglers, you got like Blabber, you got that Shiding guy from NA struggling down in master tier, guys. And KZH with 60 ping. He has 60 ping, right? And you, ha you guys have to understand, he's versing 9 ping junglers. And he's playing 60 ping on the Korean server and still able to breeze through to challenger in a week. You guys realize what he'd be able to do with 9 ping on the server? As he goes Red's Chicken Gromp into the top lane. One of, um, this is what he usually does, right? Red Chicken's Gromp level 3 looks for top lane gank, mid lane gank, or invade on enemy Red. Tries to fight. Looks for the Q onto the Fiora. Lands it. This guy doesn't miss Qs. This is what I'm talking about. I thought he was scripting in my game because he just... It just seemed like he was just landing Qs at max range every time, and it pissed me off. Find Shivana with first strike. Probably going to be going for the little bit of burst. As he'll make his way down. Clean up the blue buff. Oh, heads back in. This might actually be really good. I want to see how he plays it. Ws gets a little bit of shielding onto the Warwick. E auto Fiora is trolling. Uses that healing. I mean, dude... He uses his W always, always to try and look for aggressive trades to protect his teams. You don't want to be using it always to like ward dash or stuff like that. Um, people kind of miss out on it. And they waste it away when you don't need it. So you grab the blue now. Now that he's got top lane he'll lead, I wouldn't be surprised if he just paths down bot. The Irelia on his team is Irelia King. Wouldn't mind trying to set up some ganks on that, but Zed, of course. Zed is too mobile to gank. We hit four and just look straight top. You see, like, he's always scheming something, dude. He's always scheming something. Fira comes through. You see how he used that ward to try and get the autos, get the slow, and then use the Q? Don't use the... Don't just QQ instantly. This guy is like a heat seeker, man. Not fair. It's not fair. The KZH, I mean, he plays in the Chinese Super Server, right? He's been top 10. And Chinese Super Server plays even more aggressively and faster than Korea. So he's used... He plays these games just perma-skirmishing, and it looks crazy when he plays it, but this, that's just how the Chinese players, especially junglers, do it. You shouldn't be surprised. So when he versus these junglers in Korea who play a little bit slower, and I want to try to power farm. He just takes over games because he's everywhere, and then they FF. Still can't believe he's doing this with 60 ping. I know some players are like, oh, 60 ping, that's nothing. But if you talk to any high elo player or pro player, and you ask them the difference between 60 and 9 ping on a champion like Lee Sin, it's like saying, you know, I am driving a Ferrari on the freeway, or I'm driving a three-legged camel. It's a big difference as another Q hits. Wait out the CC. Can't quite go in. He doesn't. He's one of the most patient Lee Sin. He's aggressive. He's fast. He's smart. But, dude, he doesn't rush things. He lands the Q. He waits the CC. He assesses the situation and goes. He doesn't rush in. Please understand that. He's one of the most... Like, he can be fast when he needs to be fast, right? But he... Um, a lot of the time, it's it's more slow Lee Sin play. It's not flashy stuff. It's accuracy over anything. Gets the dragon set up. 
Yeah. Top lane gank, top lane gank. Bot lane, dragon setup. Bot lane. Eight minutes, he'll go to Herald. Q Lance, looks it. Good stun. I mean, that's this Syndra's playing well. I like the way she set that E up. Has he missed a Q yet? And the best thing about Lee Sin right now with the durability changes is... I mean, your itemization, bro. Boar Drinker into, like, Hex Drinker. Into Death Dance, GA. You just... You just ain't dying. It's silly. This whole bot side's gonna be up. I want to see him hit level 6 and look for a play. He doesn't often. If he doesn't need to, like, if you watch... Hey, I don't like to shit on Box Box or anything, but, like, if you watch Box Box Lee Sin, he just wastes his flash for flat, like, for cool plays and stuff, right? KZH holds his flash like Doper, man. If he doesn't need to use it, he won't use it. He doesn't care about some flashy play. If he needs to... In order to get the kill, he'll do it, right? But if he can hold his flash or ward dash and he'll just he'll just walk in, RQ and kill without using anything, he'll do it. You don't waste your shit. As he comes through. Okay. Okay, well. He queued on the chicken and then he flashed, took the bard portal. Okay, let's just ignore that because I just hyped him up for five minutes and then he does that to me. And you can tell now, that you, you should be able to tell I don't pre-watch these games. So like, I, I look like a little bit of an idiot. But anyways, finds the Shivana. And now he's going to hunt for the Zed. I don't think this is possible, right? I mean, Q lands, but if he went in, I think you would... Regret it. Yeah, Fiora topside. Boot delivery comes in. You see what I mean? And I wish I knew I was versing him when I played against him. Because he just, he felt, he felt really good. But I didn't really think much of it until a viewer told me. As he gets the Gore Drinker, and from here on, man, he's just looking for perma fights, perma jewels. You're not going to see him power farming camps. You're going to see him in the river, looking for setups, looking for Herald. Really wants to play topside here. If his mid and top get priority, you get a free Herald. Herald, you set up for whatever tower has the least amount of plates, three preferably. Or a lane you're trying to set up and know he's going to play well. I think I would give, I would try and give Herald to Irelia King if I, like, I know what Irelia King does with leads and I don't really care about a work player, so that's just me. I mean, he just waits for the CC and then throws a Q. Not, it's not hard. It's not hard, but it's kind of hard. It's hard to be patient when you play this champ. Love this by Aurelia King. Gets the hard shove, looks topside dive, looks herald. Any downtime in mid lane, you should be trying to help out your jungler and play around them. He could just go for a hard shove mid lane, no? You can see Aurelia King kind of wanted to shove through mid lane, look for the mid lane tower. But he's more, KZH more so wants to look for the fight. Can't find anything and waste some time. Now let's see what he can get. Zed moving through. Probably warded. Probably warded. We're going to hold on to the Herald and look for the overextended Syndra. Shivana sitting though. Let's see if the Q lands. Do we land the Q? Get the flash. Q lands. Does he take it? He does. Kick. Gets the knock up. Almost dies down. Rakan finishes off the shiv. I really a king does a little bit of trolling. 
And I mean, how easy did that look? Empowered recall. What's he buy? He's thinking about what? Steel caps. He's thinking. That's the pickaxe, full damage. I do think, if, if he went steel caps, I think it would have been a mistake into a Syndra, Shivana. Not really necessary, is it? But do you notice he's always active on the next play, right? And he's always at where the play should be. And some people, I get confused with this on how to do it. Essentially just come, like, good players... Oh, Shivana was hunting it. Good players just know where to be. This comes from thousands of games. We follow the Shivana in. We get that kill. Looking now for the Bard. Can we land the Q? Whoops, the Herald. That's going to finish the tower off. He wants to try and find the Zed here. He does have... Oh, Bard. We kick into the Q. Wow. Ooh. Sintra flank, we're dead. And the Herald didn't get charged from Bard. This What's is going to make... This is going to make the game spicy. Sorry. Right. I think he didn't... I, don't, I mean, I don't know. He he blew his flash and ultimate. And the Q got dodged out by that Zed. Maybe it's Zed 99. I don't know. Relia King. Flash is for the Syndra. His Chinese players get so emotional and scream, I love it. I wonder what the next objective is. Herald down, Dragon down. We definitely want to try and farm the next tower, but we only have 40 seconds left of plates. And I was actually... So I've, you know, I say he's the best Lee Sin in the world. But... I was just talking to an old friend of mine yesterday. His name's Rush, if you haven't heard of him. Former Lee Sin God. He said he's lost the ability to speak English, he's lost his league skills, and he's put on fat after joining the military for 18 months. But he's back, he's grinding. And thinking about a return. PV man. One of my favorite streamers back in the day. Always a positive guy. Having a laugh. This Warwick man. Q. We don't even need it. We ultimate. Now we're going to get the Q onto the Shivana. Double kill. Warwick dies. And he's probably happy Warwick dies. Give him a little bit of time to himself up here in the top lane. So whilst KZH, look, he's the best Lee Sin in the world right now. In a couple of months after training, who knows? Maybe Rush will be back. But probably not. PV man was kind of stuck in Master Tier last I checked. I think the last... I, I, he came over my place in 2020 when I was here in Korea. And he's like, hey man, can I come over and I'll like stream for a day? I'm like, yeah man, that's all sweet. I swear that guy stayed at my place like four days and just slept on the couch. I didn't say anything. You stay as long as you needed, brother. A Zed has a stride breaker. I'm not going to question it. He doesn't need to go hex drink at this game. Shivana's behind. Syndra's not that far ahead, so. Oh. Gives blue. Gives blue. Needs a little bit extra gold for the death dance. Oh my god, the W from Fiona. Oh, Q goes wide. He was trying to wait for that. Yeah. Now he'll head back. Gore drinker, death dance. <sighs> These bruiser items are so good on current patch. This 
Flash up in 30. Only one control ward. And you know what's funny? I actually played... So the insect is the ward dash kick that Lee Sin comes up with. I actually played with insect a couple of weeks ago in Korea. But I was dumbfounded because he doesn't play jungle anymore. He plays top lane Darius. Good stun. Warwick just eats that beautiful lady up. And how easy this game feeling. You see what I mean? The way he plays. He doesn't really force tricky plays, flashy things. He just does what his highest percentage with chance is going to be. If the play's there and it's necessary, he goes for it. But he's not those stupid Lee Sins that take every Q, every play, and throws everything for no reason. I used to play with a guy called Celiberry. He's an Os Lee Sin pl player. And whilst he was good, he was always looking for montage plays, and we would lose all the games that we get a, a lead early. Because the guy's trying to do the backflip bloody 12 somersault flash late game. He gets he gets picked off, always. And then we, do, and then we lose. I'm like, bro, please just do what's necessary to win. But he's looking for montage plays. One miss, like, montage plays are rare, right? You can't pull them off every time. They're, they're, that's why they're montage plays. They just didn't work out. Sometimes they would, and you'd be like, damn, boy. But most of the times, you'd be like, damn, boy. Like, why? Anyways. What does Celiberry still, I don't even know if he still plays. Anyways, Lucidity Boots, double control. Oh, that sound. The objective bounty capture sound is so good by Riot. It's it's so satisfying to have, and then it feels so bad when the enemy team gets it, even if they're not very far. Like, even if they don't have any chance to come back, it still like kind of hits you, make gives you a little fuzzy feeling. Oh, cute. They want to try and get their herald. Two minutes left. <coughs> The fight breaks out. I think Fiora must have queued that, right? Pretty much every objective by KZH. All dragons, all heralds, all ganks. Everything's proactive by him. Yeah, he's playing with Shivana, got behind, sure, but. If you're a jungle or even Lee Sin player, oh my god! He, he could have flash kicked. He could have, he could have done everything with that. It's not worth it. It's not worth panicking if he makes a slight misstep. Moves in. Khan gets the flash. We kill off the Zed. We still have ultimate. He just walks over the Shivana burn. It's AP Shivana, buddy. He drops down. And it looks like he is going to end up going for the more because it's such an efficient item. Shivana! What are they doing? Ugh. Out of base, all pings on the Baron. They should be able to set up a nice, easy, clean Baron. I really just got Blade of the Rune King. One pick, Insta Baron, siege the game out. Should be a free win. Don't overcomplicate the game, guys. Take the objectives, play around your strong spots. And just don't die for no reason. The biggest mistake I see ELO players making is just being stupid in the mid game. Autopiloting and then just getting caught two, three times in a row and just losing the game. Just don't do anything dumb, especially before objectives. Wait for the enemy team to make mistakes if you're in low elo. They will make mistakes, trust me. Make dumb decisions and just capitalize on them. You don't have to be the playmaker all the time. You can just be the reaction maker. Oh, it's yes, his cues are accurate, but I, I want to see some insane... Crazy mechanical insect before we are. The game concludes. There's two people dead again. 
And I think we're going to have to try and give the Baron. Maybe we can get a little cheeky steal. What do you guys reckon? Are we going to get a steal? Yes or no? It's kind of hard with how much CC they have. Double stun. Goes in. Still has kick. Baron on 3k and they can't finish it off. That's honestly fine for him. Huge dodge. Oh, he's looking for those max range Qs. Soul's coming up soon, so he's not going to risk anything. You see what I mean? Like, he doesn't... He didn't do anything there that would just completely risk the game and die. Plays it really slow on the outskirts. Waits for the opportunity. He's going to get Cloud Soul here. Not the best soul. I'd say Mountain Soul is probably the best soul, but... I think Mountain... I love Hextech. Infernal's okay. Ocean Soul's... I don't know if I like... I mean, maybe with the new patch, Ocean Soul's better. I don't know if I like it. And then Cloud Soul is pretty eh. Unless your team... Is very, like, ultimate kind of heavy. And needs that extra ability. Let's see what you've got. Q on the Syndra. He flashes out aggress, like, really passively. Kick. Gets double stunt. Moves back in. Q lands. Fiora. Just gets a little bit of energy. Q spams that. Has the ward dash here. Could ward dash into the Q. Wait. Ooh. You see how he threw that Q? He knew the Syndra wouldn't be looking for it because she would assume he was going to use it on the Shivana. And I would have died a hundred times over in those type of fights by trying to play too aggressively with the lead he has. He's 11 and 2, but he doesn't let it get to his head. And I don't know how many times we need to reiterate this with all these type of one-trick players. P-Zang, Z99. The only exception is maybe Beifang, but even Beifang and High Elo plays really a lot more calm. They're not just this crazy... Holy shit, I thought they were going to lose that. They're not just going 100-0 every game, right? And do doing every single sick play. It's a lot more about solid consistency and smart play with the backing of mechanics. It's the only way that these players excel. You can't be all mechanics, it won't work. And obviously you can't be all brains because you don't have the mechanics to back it up. You need to have a good foundation of all of it to get into these higher ranks. And I think that's why a lot of players can't climb is because they're only thinking about making the plays and they're really struggling to build on those fundamentals of decision making. They get a little bit, I think everyone gets a little bit too hypey, right? They get a little bit too excited to make that one stupid play that costs them the game. I am definitely victim of that. I would be challenger if I could think and play better. If I wasn't so bad, I swear I'd be good. I mean, Grandmaster in Korea, I'm not that bad. Copium. As hopefully it will be a slow and steady siege. We have the stoppy. We have the hex drink, as I said. Death dance completed. We are a beefy boy. Zed makes his way in. Does no damage. Has stride breaker, remember? Stride breaker, death dance. This guy's really stretching out that durability patch as he goes in with the W. Gets the bard. They drop the Fiora down. Qs. He's missed a Q. He's actually Mr. Q. Drop inhibs into the reset. In case that H was notorious, I think he hit. He might have been. He, I think he hit rank one on the Chinese super server in lane. He played lane Lee Sin 
Do you remember when they buffed Lee Sin? It was getting played mid top like over and over and over again, like last season, I think it was. AZH was the king of the Chinese super server. But since then, he doesn't play much lane Lee anymore. It's just jungle. The preferred role. Now he's in the hunt for a pick. Finds a Shivana. Yoink. Q. Goes wide. Still has. Was that Shivana? I thought. Why did I think that was Shivana? And I couldn't even describe to you what's happening. Mayhem everywhere. God, he's. You're so tanky, bro. Just dumb. That's an ace. That's the game. Gentlemen, that's it from KZH today. He's taken over the Korean server. Very much unlike me and Tyler One. Breezes past the challenger within the week. I'll see you boys on the next video. Hope you enjoyed it today. And I'll catch us later. Peace.